give me a minute. I want to talk about the inimitable Elon Musk, who, as we all know, uh, has a real talent for identifying the most innovative and strategic industries to the welfare of the United States, and then using the vast wealth that he was born with, never worked for, never earned, to purchase them and then take credit for the innovation, right? He's, he's the best billionaire at that in the world. And beyond doubt, he's the most insightful and innovative billionaire there is. I mean, just look what he did with Twitter. He spent $44 billion for the most recognized brand on earth and then change the name. <laughs> so there's no arguing with the brilliance of this billionaire. He clearly knows better than the rest of us how the world works. And of course, with all that money that, you know, when you're born with a fortune, a mountain, of money made off the backs of generations of workers that your parents and grandparents exploited under a racist system of apartheid. Uh, and you're then born with the fruits of the gold mine, the copper mine, the diamond mine. Uh, you can't be bought, right? You're above that kind of thing. And so he told us all that the other day in this interview where he told uh, the Twitter advertisers to go fuck themselves. If they didn't like the sewer of fascist propaganda that Twitter has become, it's nothing more than a mouthpiece for the very worst people that there are and anybody who has anything to do with it really uh, should reconsider their position in life. I mean, it's true. Sometimes I take stories off there because they get reported there. But I hate doing it every time. I promise you. I promise you. Anyway, um, he said in this interview, this is my, there's two, two things here that are really my favorite bits. Blackmail me with advertising? Blackmail me with money? Now, on the surface of it, right, it looks like he's telling us, hey, I'm one of the richest people on earth. I can't be bought. You try to blackmail me with money? Impugn my integrity? <laughs> and my commitment to pure free speech. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right, you dare do that? You, it can't be done, right? I'm so above it all. But nobody says that. That's not a thing that people say. Blackmail me with money. No. People say, you try to blackmail me, fuck you. Why did Elon feel the need to specify the kind of blackmail, is my question. The obvious answer would be that someone is blackmailing him in some other way. Now you think about it, now, now, just suppose for a second, just suppose for a second that the whole Twitter deal uh, was some kind of blackmail. That some forces somewhere wanted Twitter to be their megaphone and wanted a creature that they could control to be there in the driver's seat. Can't blackmail them with money. 
So they blackmail him in some other way that I will not speculate on. Now, if that were true, and Elon were looking for a way to get out of this nightmare deal, maybe he would just black, he would just bankrupt the company on purpose by doing stupid things like changing the name of the most recognized brand on earth uh, by telling advertisers to go F themselves and driving revenues into the toilet as well as cutting costs by cutting some of the most important people and technologies that supported the platform on a cost cutting, as cost cutting measures. Maybe he would just wreck the thing so that he could turn to these elements that blackmailed him into the deal and say, everybody on earth will know it'll be gone because of the advertisers. It's not my fault. I'm doing what my masters have told me to do. It's free speech absolutism. Everybody can say the most awful, evil things here without fear of reprisal. Now, I'm just making this all up, right? I mean, I don't have any evidence for it. I'm just asking questions the way Tucker Carlson might, right? Could it be that some evil forces blackmailed Elon Musk into Twitter and he's not happy and so he's wrecking it to get out of the deal? I don't know, but either way, when this son of a bitch goes broke over Twitter and it gets shut down, it will be a happy day for me because it is a source of the most evil, evil things where the worst people on the earth get a, a megaphone to spread their hate and lies. And it needs to go. No doubt about that. So Elon, if that's your goal, boy, I'll tell you, I've never supported you more.